Hey guys, it's me, Chase from Chase Bays. Uh, today we're going to tell you a little bit about the three loom types that you're going to see on a lot of harnesses out there these days. So we're going to break it down to stage one, two, and three. One is uh, basically nylon and splits apart like that and you can see through it. Uh, two is solid. It does not split apart, but it's still nylon and uh, you can see through it. And then three is solid, it does not split, and you cannot see through it, so it's weather safe. Uh, there's also a, three different heat qualities that you're gonna see here, and we're gonna talk about that. So there's a lot to cover when it comes to these three different loom types. Uh, today we're just gonna give you the very basic amount of information to help you make your decision and, and give you the information you need. Uh, we wrote a full blog post, and uh, I encourage you to check that out so you can know all the, the temperature specs and, and everything you need to know uh, we're also going to put it in the comment section of this video. So when you see this on a harness, this is, in our opinion, the lowest level of sleeping you can use. Whenever you put it on the harness, it does not, it's not reliable. Um, I'm not even going to be good at this because it's been so long. But when you get it around it, it just, if it's going around a bend, it's going to do this so it pretty much requires zip ties every inch and that's ugly uh, it kind of shows poor planning and it has pretty much zero heat resistance uh, this one kind of comes in its own three forms uh, you've got basically computer grade um, and then that's gonna burn up really quick and it's gonna be super see-through and then you've got like a tight weave flame retardant version which uh, is a little bit better and that's what we actually used to use um, so with this stuff, it's, it's okay, but there's better stuff out there that's way more heat resistant. And so we don't, we don't use this anymore, but you'll see it on a lot of, uh, you'll see it on a lot of other harnesses. This is uh, a lot of different materials, but it has some fiberglass in there. This stuff is crazy heat resistant. And this is what we use on our harnesses now. Um, we really like the opaque look. Uh, it's totally covering the harness. Um, it's not as easy to expand, so it's a little harder to work with. Uh, when we're making the harnesses, but this stuff, as far as sleeving goes, is the best. Um, so that's why we use it on all of our harnesses. So now we're going to show you how heat resistant these three sleevings are. Uh, keep in mind that we're using the highest heat resistant of each type. Uh, it's going to be hard to tell when you're buying a harness which one that the uh, manufacturer chooses, but we just hope that they're using the highest heat rating of each. So. Even the split stuff and, and this middle, the stage two stuff is going to be the highest heat resistant that they make. So this heat gun goes up to a thousand degrees. Uh, we usually use it at about six, but we're going to turn it up to max level and uh, see what these three sleevings can take. Two hours later. So something else I want to mention is uh, this is stage two sleeving and this is the sleeving that we use now. Um, when you're shrinking this heat shrink, ob you know, obviously you've got all these heat shrinks that you need to have uh, in between junctions and off of some connectors. This is adhesive heat shrink and it requires a lot of heat to get that uh, adhesive melted and, and glued around the harness. 
when you're when you're doing that with this stage two sleeving, there's a higher risk of this burning because you saw how quickly it could burn. The great stuff about this is that we can heat it up full force, get all that glue out, and have no risk of burning this or the wires underneath since this is thermal protection. And so you actually end up with a more durable harness with this stuff. Let's freaking do it, man.